Hello guys, welcome back to our backyard garden. Welcome back to another video on our blueberries video series. And today I will make it real short and discuss something that is not widely talked about anywhere. Now we all know growing blueberries they require an acidic growing medium, right? A pH of four and a half to five and a half. That is the perfect growing pH for blueberries, the majority of blueberries. Most of us gardeners, we only know how to amend our soil to be acidic. That is what we just got to be worried about, okay? So today, I really want to talk about what do you do when you encounter the opposite of our problems? And that is a pH that is too low, okay? Yes, not often you will hear that from me, but a pH that is too low for our blueberries. With a pH of 3 and 8, 3.8 to 4.1, 4.2, That is low pH for blueberries. Too low, okay? Um, once they get that low, we encounter the same problem as a higher pH soil would cause our blueberries plants, leaves. They would turn very yellowy and this shows some symptom of iron corollosis, okay? Or corollosis? I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but they will, you know, show you all the common signs of a high pH. What happened is they are not able to uptake nitrogen, okay? Because the pH is too high. But in our case, our pH is too low. So the same thing would occur, okay? They are not able to uptake nitrogen. That is it. Okay guys, let me grab the camera and give you guys a close view of the problems that we as blueberry growers sometime or often runs in, run into okay as you can see here our leaves are very pale okay you can see the vein on the leaves very yellowish um look at this okay you see that that is iron corollosis corollosis um it is not able to uptake iron okay that is due to a higher pH soil or a soil that is too low, okay? So, one would think that you have a higher pH, you are doing something wrong, and you are not acidifying it enough, but that is not often the case, okay? In my case, it is from lower, <laughs> I, I mend the soil too well, okay? So, okay? Um, if the plant was healthy and growing vigorously, then the leaves will be somewhat like this, okay? Green. <laughs> Not as pale and veiny such as these leaves, okay? So, let's go ahead and I will show you guys the first step that I will take to fixing or determine our problems and then taking the action to cure our blueberry plants to let them thrive okay so let's get started we got our a gallon or so of rainwater and now all we're gonna, all we're gonna do is just you know flush it from the top okay and as you can see the rainwater is trickling down from the bottom of our hose in the container so now with that cup, we just, you know, capture that water, okay? As you can see, I don't know if you can catch it, but water is running straight down, which is great. We have a fast draining soil. That is what, you know, our blueberries love. So if your water don't leach out in at least 10 seconds, then your soil is too compacted and not ideal, okay? So, here's the water, guys. Now, as previous stated on my um, video on blueberries, 
I mentioned about having a pH meter and that is quite important to growing blueberries okay so now with these meter I will measure the pH so in my case I like to use two to just give me an idea of how close they are to one another these cheaply made one or or decent okay they are pretty good for the price but they are not precise they are accurate enough okay um, and that is all I need I will upgrade in the future but from what I'm seeing look at this guys okay I'm getting a 4.12 4.12 on one of the reading for my <laughs> pH Pro um, as for the other it's a 4.4 4 point four ish okay so that tell me hey we are not in the optimum pH range for blueberries which is a 4.5 to a 5.5 um, it is below that so guess what we have a soil condition that is too low of a pH so by doing this we know for sure that we don't need to add more acidic amendment which will continue to escalate our problems and you will get frustrated that it's not working and eventually you add more and more and the blueberry plants die okay so this is how I go about testing the pH of my soil amendment now let's get talking and show you guys how I go about fixing it it's pretty easy okay guys so the first step one of the easiest thing you can do if you have a pH that is too low in container is your garden hose using our city tap water this is perhaps one of the few times that I really thank you that I have tap water to water my blueberries now all I'm doing is watering it heavily okay I'm just letting it soak okay and as I'm doing this water will leach out from the bottom continuously okay so I will let it drain and continue the process for a couple of runs okay um what's this doing is our city tap water have a very high pH it also has a lot of bicarbonate okay so all the stuff that is not good for our bl blueberries that will raise our pH in turn is slowly you know raising the pH of our blueberries in container funny ain't it I always tell you guys to avoid watering your blueberries with tap water but here I am fixing fixing the issue by watering it with a higher pH water source okay so that is the easiest step you can do and by doing this um, for a few days you will notice the leaves will start to turning green again okay and the new leaves will turn green so but that can take a week or two okay um the second method is using chelated liquid iron okay this is one of my favorite um brand to use it's a fertilome um variety and all i'm doing is supplementing our plants with iron in the meantime okay um by feeding it do it leaves so I take one teaspoon and mix it in a gallon of rainwater or if you have the still water that'd be fine stir it mix it well put it in a spray bottle yes you will have a lot left over but you know you can say that for another time now then all you have to do is spray our blueberries leaf thoroughly okay from top and bottom and underneath the leaves 
and yes, it smells like iron. So this is a fast way of feeding our blueberries with iron in the meantime because they cannot uptake it right currently. So these two steps, if you you know use then in a few weeks time things will slowly turn back to normal and our blueberries will turn healthy and grow vigorously once more um, one word of advice for our spray is that make sure you do it in the late afternoon hours okay when the Sun is slowly setting if you do this during the day or early morning and the sun rises and the temperature get hot it can burn our leaves okay so it is recommended to do it right now before the sun go down let it soak through the night and you should be good okay guys here we are almost a month later and here is the update of our blueberry plant and as you can see the majority if not all of its leaves are turning very dark and healthy green once again any symptom of iron chorolysis has disappeared the plant is back to its healthy growing stage so as you can see before trying to amend your soil acidifying and much more because you see symptom of a very high pH make sure you measure the actual pH first okay um, in my cases I have never run into a higher pH soil it is always a soil that is too acidic okay if you are for sure using peat moss pine bark and other soil um, acidic amendments then rest assured those type of soil tend to be acidic okay and by putting in too much um, amendments and thinking that your soil is not acidic enough you will run into much more trouble by accidentally thinking that the soil is the um, acidic amendment that you are putting in is not working that is the perhaps one of the top three reasons why your blueberry plant will not thrive and die so Take what I show you guys and go out there, get a pH meter, um, follow the step that I have shown you, and you will, you know, be rest assured and not freak out when you see your leaves turning pale white and yellow and freak out. Um, there is a solution to everything, such as in life. So I leave it as that. So, with all that said, I hope you guys like the video. Give it a like, a subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys on the next video. Um, stay healthy, stay blessed, and grow what you love to eat. Peace, you guys.